It is time right now at uh, 9.08. Mm-hmm. 9.08, that's right. Just switching over to 9.09 uh, for our trivia question. Okay. Moment of the show. And this is where Patty and I test each other's knowledge. And today, <laughs> everything is based on the word sand. And we'll let Patty go first, as always. Okay. What weighs more? This is perfectly in line with the uh, upcoming segment about sandcastles. Okay. Uh-huh. What weighs more, a bucket of wet sand or a bucket of dry sand? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, just because you would think it would be wet, I'm going to go dry. And so I'm going to say a bucket of dry sand. And you would be right. Really? Because uh, water weighs less than sand? Water weighs less than sand, displaces some of the sand. You don't get as much actual sand particles in the bucket with water. Right. So that one, which seems counterintuitive, weighs less than the dry sand. That's a great one. I like that. Okay. All right, so every <laughs> August, uh, the Monterey Coastal Artist Community of Sand City, it's primarily an industrial city, but an artist... I almost went with a Sand City question, and I'm glad I passed that one up, so oh, go ahead. Oh, good, yes. I, <laughs> there has been one time that we both came up with the same question, but uh, the uh, Sand City holds a street fair every August. Uh, what is this annual event called? Is it the uh, Sand City Arts and Wine Festival? Uh, Fiesta Arenas, which is Festival of Sand, or the West End Celebration? Hmm, I should know this because I lived up there for five or six years. I told that to Anthony, our producer. I said, I think um, she might get this. because The she Festival didn't... of Sand? I'm sorry, Patty. No. Um, <laughs> oh. No, it is uh, called the West End Celebration. Okay. They call themselves Soho West. Okay. Uh, and so... According to the city's website, the West End Celebration is an exciting blend of art and industry in a newly transformed area of the city dubbed Soho West. The celebration features live music, dance, street performances, as well as great food, and of course, the creative wares of local artists and artisans. It's a cool little spot. Mm -hmm. Stress on little, but it's it's, tiny. It's just tucked in there uh, near Seaside. It's a really cute little place. So uh, there you have it. Uh, Me one, Patty none. Okay. (laughs) You might get this one. Okay. Where are the tallest sand dunes in North America? California, Arizona, Colorado. Uh, They are in California, and uh, they are the Eureka Dunes in Death Valley National Park. Uh, They, uh, I'm right so far, correct? No, National Geographic disagrees with you. The tallest sand dunes in North America are at the base of Sangre de Cristo Mountains in Colorado. Damn. (laughs) <laughs> they oh. rise 750 feet off the floor of the San Luis Valley at the western base of the Sangre de Cristo. I don't know if I'm saying that right range. Yeah, you are. Um, it's the blood of Christ. Okay, well, researchers say that they started forming 440,000 years ago. Now that I think about it. Uh, I thought your Colorado background would have given that one away. I know you did the sand dunes. And I've been to the place that you're talking about also. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I did the uh, Eureka dunes. The singing sand dunes, right? The singing sand dunes, yeah. They're the tallest in uh, California. California. And uh, they said that um, based on when you, because you know, sand dunes are always shifting. Yes. And based on when you measure them and all that sort of thing that uh, you know, there's been times theirs have been measured taller, but that uh, I forgot about that. Yes. (laughs) Sorry, I tricked you. I actually thought you would get it. Well, the funny thing is, is my question was about the Eureka Dunes. So oh, okay. now we will uh, switch to my other one. This one, I think you'll be able to get if you just, um, I, I wish the waiting music was a little bit longer, but uh, name five California cities or towns. Okay. They okay. have to be designated cities five or towns. Five California cities or towns. With the word beach included in the name, because we all know beaches are made up of sand. Okay. So uh, five so, uh, cities Grover or towns. Grover Beach. Okay, Grover Beach. Pismo Beach. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can I say Shell Beach? It's not really actually a city. Nope. Um, Beach. You're at two. Oh my gosh. I'm I think Southern California. Oh, okay. Uh, Pacific Beach. Uh, <laughs> oh, Patty. Venice Beach. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we have to give you the boo. Uh, <clears throat> no, uh, there are 13 cities or wow, towns of that have the word beach. The largest is Long Beach. At, oh, duh. At 460,000 people. How did I miss Long Beach? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I couldn't take the pressure of that music. <laughs> the, the, right. The, 
The smallest is Pismo Beach at 7,600 residents. Oh, wow. Grover, Hermosa, Huntington, Imperial, Laguna, Manhattan, Newport, Redondo, Seal, and Solana make up the rest. It's so many choices. Uh, some places, uh, some people are going, what about Stinson Beach in the Bay Area? Um, is it not actually a city? It's a census designated area only. Okay. okay so we're going to have to hold off on the, the, we're out of time. on the rest of them because we need to take this final minute of this segment to give, give away, some tickets away a couple of tickets to the wonderful Chemistry of Cocktails event. 